gentlemen, on behalf of the crew, I ask that you please direct your attention to the monitor. What would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing as a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. So the Philippines is uh, definitely my, one of my favorite destinations. I'm always checking the charts. So when I saw the charts light up, pretty much just booked tickets on the spot. Uh, I spoke to Jennings and he suggested um, Cramsey come along. I hadn't really surfed with Cramsey much. I'd seen a little bit of him like spinning to the beach and winning, winning heats, snaking people and stuff. So that was about the extent of what I'd seen from him. But I knew this wave would, um, he definitely loved this wave. He's a technical surfer, so I knew he'd love it.
So a few years ago when I was in the Philippines, I heard of a, uh, an island to the south, but I heard it was pretty um, ISIS orientated and you had to be really careful going down there, but I heard of a, a left slab. It was definitely hard walking away from pumping cloud nine, but after the couple of flights and buses, we got to, the, got to this area and, you know, just coconut trees and nothing there. We pulled up and we saw the waves and sure enough, it was just, exactly what we heard was pumping. So it's nice to know places like that still exist with no one around and just empty barrels spitting into the channel for days on end, like the place would be going empty right now. So traveling with Lackey was pretty good. Once again, I didn't know what to expect. I've never traveled with Matt before, so a prone rider myself and then a drop knee up. I didn't, yeah, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen, but we got pumping waves. It kind of pushed me to sort of want to go those waves that he didn't want or couldn't sort of ride. And then those easier waves, I sort of mucked around, got on the knee and showed him a couple of turns and how to do it. <laughs> 